I had taken on the role of the mythic detective, Bogart as Marlowe, or as Sam Spade going after the Maltese Falcon to unravel all the mysteries. Following a path of clues to that final revelation, even if it would take me down to the cold, cavernous depths of a grave. You can't do this! My men are still inside! Do you have any idea why this is called Operation Dead Eyes? I think he's dead already. Let's do it. Attention all personnel. The self-destruction sequence has been initiated. Evacuate the complex immediately. Company. Repeat. The self-destruction sequence has been initiated. Proceed to the nearest exit immediately. I had seen the logo on the floor before. There was an old army bunker under the steel mill. I knew the military plaque on the floor. I had seen a thousand variations of the insignia on crumbling brick walls everywhere in the city. The sword replaced by a syringe. Project Valhalla, V for Valkyr, V for Valhalla. All of a sudden it read like a crackpot conspiracy theory. Life of the lab rat had ended online, his password blinking on the screen. 665, the neighbor of the beast.
nearest exit immediately. Decontamination completed. I was gonna die in there for sure. I need you to get me through the decontamination chamber airlock. You're crazy! No way! The place is blowing up for Christ's sakes! Either that or back to the cell. Your choice. Okay, okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. had the project logo on the screen. Top secret. Project Valhalla. U.S. Army. Yggdrasil Network. Valhalla. The otherworldly place in Norse mythology where the bravest heroes spent their afterlife feasting and fighting forever. Their wounds miraculously healed night after night. Valkyr. The maidens who chose the most courageous Viking warriors and carried them to Valhalla. 1991, the research objective is to create a chemical substance to enhance the stamina and morale of infantry troops. 1995, results unsatisfactory. Project canceled. Someone had decided to continue the sick experiment unauthorized.
project compromised. Data leak. Fix the damage by any means necessary. Security clearance red. Authorized by the project lead. Field test. Double the dosage for all the remaining test subjects. Observe and record the subject's behavior in an urban setting. The drop-off point was my old address in New Jersey. The file dated three years ago. Just when you thought you had reached the deepest depths of horror, it suddenly got worse. How to turn off that small voice inside your head that started to whisper that you should be glad that now, if not before, your revenge was justifiable on any conceivable moral scale. That small voice proved, beyond any doubt, that I was damned. The dagger-heeled woman had come and gone a long time ago. There was nothing more for me here. The bunker's name was acting as a self-fulfilling prophecy. Proceed to the nearest exit immediately. together a jigsaw and the final picture is you finishing that same puzzle. A mad, green-eyed killer standing behind you. An urban legend come true. The Project Valhalla test subjects had been the mad junkies who had murdered my loved ones. The rest was simple body count math. It all pointed to her. Ms. Valkyr. The factory went up in a fiery inferno behind me. All my leads were dead, turned to smoke and dust. I had lost my way. I hadn't slept in a million years. I felt thin as death. I've been living on an endless supply of weak old donuts. They were fuel for this crazy furnace inside my head. I couldn't remember when I had last seen the sun. I was on a permanent graveyard shift. When the darkness fell, New York City became something else, any old Sinatra song notwithstanding. Bad things happened in the night, on the streets of that other city, Noir York City. I was in an all-night diner, downing cup after cup of coffee that tasted like engine oil, when a new message from BB got me back on the killer track. What the hell happened at Roscoe Street? Maxie, I'm going out on a limb here. We need to talk this through, come up with a plan. 2.30 a.m., the choir communications garage. The more I thought about Alex's murder in the frame-up, the more it felt like an inside job. I should have seen it coming. BB had sold me out, and now he wanted to finish what he'd started. The garage was dead. BB showed up in his tailor-made suit, gold watch, and cufflinks to match, all way beyond a cop's pay. Maxie. Oozing suave charm, he was guilty as hell. What the hell does BB stand for anyway? Backstabbing bastard? Come on, don't be like that, have a cigar. I don't smoke. Maxie, you have no idea how big this is. It's huge, you have no idea. I think I do. You're a bribe-taking bent cop who sold out his partner. Those mobsters in the subway were a dead giveaway. Hard to miss. Bet it was exactly like this with Alex. 
up close and personal. You can't win this one, Max. No, but I can make damn sure none of you do either. <laughs>